We've got more details to talk about today regarding Grand Theft Auto 6's likely release date. We're going to be diving into all of that in this video today and a whole lot more. So what's going on guys? My name is Ross or Mr. Boss for the win. And the other day we heard from Rockstar Games insider Tez Funds 2 who essentially said that Rockstar was aiming for a holiday 2024 release date for GTA 6. And this, of course, has been pushed back over the years. It could slip into early 2025 as well. And there were many factors regarding this, including the fact that most companies like Rockstar Games are returning to the office, which is reverting back to pre-pandemic days. That, of course, is being met with a little bit of backlash. But he says because of that and all the workforce in the office, an announcement very likely to happen this year and to avoid future delays of the game, parts of the game when it releases could be packaged into DLC so that there aren't further delays. So that's sort of the long story short of what we talked about the other day. Well, there was more follow up to that as he actually received a question from someone who said, so I suppose you heard in 2021 that the planned deadline was 2023. And now you go by the assumption a delay happened, thus 2024. And he said, I'm not assuming anything. I just heard what I said. So this shouldn't be surprising, but Tez Funds 2 definitely has someone in the know at Rockstar Games. And this is what he has directly heard from that source. So I'm going to say it's pretty spot on. And that's what we're looking at here, that it is going to be around that 2024 to 2025 timeline. Now, on the subject of that 2025 timeline, we also heard from video game insider Tom Henderson, whose reports about GTA 6 have been confirmed by other reputable gaming journalists like Jason Schreer. So we know that he also has sources that are legitimate. He actually wrote an article on his website, insidergaming.com, and he talked about all the details we just mentioned that Tez Funds 2, a reputable Rockstar insider, has suggested that GTA 6 is likely to be released this year with a tentative release date of 2024. But he ended up saying, according to my own reports, which date back to June 2021, this seems to be the case. My sources have said, that Grand Theft Auto 6 has been aiming for a 2024 release date for some time, but speculation and past reveal release schedules of the likes of GTA 5 and Red Dead Redemption 2 suggest the game will be delayed until 2025. If I were to guess, I believe the game would release holiday of 2025 instead of the spring. And basically what he's suggesting is that even if Rockstar does have a firm release date of 2024, just look back at the previous games that Rockstar have released. Grand Theft Auto V was set to come out in spring of 2013 and instead was pushed back to September 17th, 2013. Red Dead Redemption 2 was supposed to come out in the fall of 2017, but didn't release until October of 2018. So let's say Rockstar puts a release date of holiday 2024 out, there's a good chance that it could be delayed anytime from 6 to 12 months, just like the two previous Rockstar Games titles that have come out. Now Tom Henderson goes on to say, as for when the announcement is made is unclear, but typically Rockstar Games likes to announce its big reveals on its own. So to set expectations, I wouldn't necessarily expect the game to be announced at E3. Instead, I expect some form of reveal trailer in Q4 2023 to coincide with past reveals, which is when Rockstar revealed previous games like Grand Theft Auto V and Red Dead Redemption 2 with the trailers coming out in the fall season towards the end of the year, which is kind of why we thought in October or November of 2022 would have been a perfect time for Rockstar to put out a reveal trailer for GTA 6 to not only coincide with what they've done in the past, but also go alongside the fact that there were some pretty significant Grand Theft Auto anniversaries in those months. But of course, they did not choose to do anything. Now, Tom goes on to say, according to my own sources, one of the major reasons for why such a long-winded delay is that GTA 6 will release on current generation consoles only, 
with the tentative 2024 date being planned as far back as 2021, it was a means of ensuring that GTA 6 would have a sufficient console market to release on. So at the end of the day, this is good news. If you're still playing on a PlayStation 4 or Xbox One, time is ticking. Yes, games are still being made for those systems, but over the next year or two, the big games are gonna come out only on the current generation, PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and S. And you want this to happen, deep down you do, because developers are going to be able to create bigger, better, more detailed, more lifelike, more powerful games on the current consoles only. It's only going to hold them back if they have to design the game for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. You don't want Rockstar to have to do that with GTA 6. And then obviously the other part of that, having a sufficient console market to release on, the console market is spiking right now. Now that people are finally able to get their hands on these systems after the craziness that was the pandemic and the supply chain issues and how expensive everything was, now it's relatively easier than ever to get your hands on these consoles. So more players are getting them, which means Rockstar has a bigger market to release GTA 6 on. So it does seem as if 2025 is probably where things will end up even if Rockstar does come out and say, hey, it's going to be on 2024, we know Rockstar, we know their history and tendency to ultimately delay titles so that they can make them as picture perfect as possible. So it looks like that might be the case. Now, there are other factors to consider, including obviously in September 2022, Rockstar had a security breach that resulted in over 70 plus videos of GTA 6 gameplay surfacing online. Now, Rockstar Games' parent company, Take-Two Interactive, said that although the leak was unfortunate, it has no impact on development. So we really will just have to wait and see. We're going to need to continue to sit tight and see what gets announced, hopefully, in the near future. And if you believe Insider Tez Funds too, he is firm on saying that that is going to happen this year in 2023. So you guys can definitely let me know what you think in those comments down below, or of course over on my Facebook page, where as always you can send messages, photos, videos, and a whole lot more. Do you think GTA 5 is gonna release in 2025? And do you think the announcement will happen this year? Let me know what you think in those comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. You'll want to stay up to date on all the latest GTA and all the Rockstar Games videos that I'll be doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work, and if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.